No content book publishing can be extremely lucrative, especially when people are staying home more than ever before. But mandala coloring books now, those are hard to make, right? Not necessarily. Today, I'm gonna to show you an easy way to make mandalas. So stick around. Hey, Rat Riders, Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out a new video. Oh, and if you haven't heard already, we just got accepted for channel membership. So if you want to join the club and help support the channel even more, then go down, click the join button, and get some really cool perks along the way. I have a lot of viewers that would love to start creating mandala art, but don't necessarily have the skills, time, or patience to create mandalas by hand. If this sounds like you, don't worry, I've got you covered. I found a software that makes making mandalas easy. You can even use it to make color by number books. But don't just take my word for it, check it out. Here we are logged into Puzzle Publishers. We are on the mandala crazy. I'm gonna start with the nun shape. You can adjust your slices. The slices basically means how many lines it's gonna create. This is gonna adjust the thickness of the lines and if you click on line mode that's going to give you very sharp lines for starters i'm going to leave it deselected and i'm just going to freehand it if you click on this you can see there's 16 lines i can change it to 14 i can change all the way up to 36 but let's just do 15 for now i have left clicked and i'm just going to draw as you can see it's drawing it there you go i literally just made a circle started here went back and it already made this so what i can do is i can change my slices let's go to eight go in the middle again and i'm just going to do the same thing okay there we go i can make even more and i don't have to just make that one design i can go in here and just make just straight lines Now there are two keys that you can use on your keyboard. One is control Z to undo the last thing you did and one is control Y to bring it back. So let's say I don't like this, I control Z it and I can again just make more designs. Now let's say I like this but I don't want all this extra space for my page. Then I can go to my shapes and I can make it a circle, I can make it a square, I can make it a triangle, and custom I'll get to in a second. So let's say I want to do a triangle and I can zoom in or out to make the triangle bigger or smaller. I can also rotate it depending on how I want it to look on the page. So typically I'm going to do a circle and I'm going to zoom in a bit and there we go. And then I can just go down here and download my PNG. Let's say I'm done with this one. I just hit the trash can right here and there we go. We can start over. I can go back to none and start from here. And let's say I want to do the line mode. You don't actually have to start here. I mean, I can draw something right here and line mode is going to allow me to do very sharp angles. Okay. There we go. And again, I can change the number of slices. And maybe I want to do a square right here. The angle I like. All right, that's more of a trapezoid. That'll work too. Now you can deselect it and then go freehand. So you don't have to do one or the other. You can do a combination. So then I can go here in the middle and do my little spirals that I want to do. Maybe I want to start here, do another little spiral. And again, as you can see, this makes creating mandala art so much easier. And again, I can adjust my slices to make more or less. Okay. 
So here we go. So let's say we got this again. We can go in and we can do a circle. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. I mean, you can zoom in and not even include all of it. Like, just I can include just that, or I can include that. However, I want to do it. Now, another thing that you can do is you can actually use custom and you can upload an image. Okay. And you just click load and you find an image and you can upload it. Now, when you do that, as you can see, this is a tiger. Uh, it's kind of sideways and it's zoomed in. So let's make that smaller. Let's do that. that. Let's rotate them a bit. Okay, there we go. If you're going to do custom, you have this extra option called mode. And you can make the shape the template, which means the design will not show through the white. It'll only show through the transparent. For example, if I start drawing, you don't see anything except for in the transparent areas. And this could definitely add to a very cool design. Delete this and just trash it. And I'm going to show you some of the other options that they have. Now, they do a little better if I use a colored image. So I'm just going to load another image. And as you can see right now, it's under shape is a template. And so, again, I can, it's again another tiger head. But the entire thing is transparent. So I can just... Do that, and the shape is again the template. But if I undo and I go to shape is on top, then I make the design and you can't see anything until it's beyond the shape. So it gives you this nice white area. So again, it all depends on what look you're going for. But one of the things I love to do is actually go to images on top, and it really makes the image pop. You can do image on the bottom. So the design is on top of the image. Again, you can zoom in or zoom out. So you can make the image smaller or larger as you want. But I want to show you one other cool element that comes with Mandala Crazy. And that is this area right here. This is where you can draw numbers. So let me start off by trashing this. Uh, we're going to go away from custom and I'm just going to do none for now. This one a little bigger and a little bigger okay so what you can do is if you click on draw numbers you can actually put numbers in here to make it a color by number image so I can color by number that and it's gonna currently do the number one so if I wanted all these outside ones to be the same color I could just do color one 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 and go all the way around Now, as you can see, some of these aren't really placed right. So if I just click on the number, I can actually drag it so it looks better. So it's more apparent to the user what number is there. What if you wanted it, each one to be its own color? So you can click on Auto Increment. And what it's going to do is it's going to, as I click, it'll go 1 and then 2 and then 3. Well, I already have 1, so I want this to start at 2. And so I can just go two, three, four, five, six. Now you can adjust the size of your numbers right here. Make them smaller or larger, depending on how you want them to appear. You can also click this button where they will not show. And I can deselect draw numbers. And I can go back to just drawing more of the mandala if I'd like. Or if I want to trash the whole thing, I can click this. But if I just want to get rid of my numbers, I can just trash the numbers part. But remember, when you hit this trash, it's going to get rid of the numbers permanently. As opposed to if you just want to see what it looks like without it, then you can just deselect the show numbers. So this will make it so when you click back on it, they will reappear. This will actually get rid of them completely. And again, when you're done with your image, you can just download. I'm going to trash this whole thing. What I like to use this for, in addition to an easy way to make mandalas, I like to use it to create color by number books. 
So again, I can just go to custom, uh, load a different image because I don't want that one. That one already has color. So we'll load this one. Again, I'm going to zoom in. Then I can draw my numbers. I'm going to deselect the auto increment. And I want this, this, and this to be one color. And then I can increment it to two. And I want this, and this, and this to be a different color. And then increment three. And everything else is going to be this color. And then you just download this PNG. And when you create your book, you'll just have a key that says one equals pink. 2 equals red, 3 equals orange, and that is how you create color by number books using the Mandala Crazy software. Now if you'd really like to dive into no content and low content books, then you probably want to check out this series that I did on creating puzzle books. Or you can check out this video that YouTube picked out and they think you'll love. I'll catch you in the next video and remember to write right.